Morning, it's seven o'clock. I'm back at it. You gotta be relentless. This is day five. I'm gonna try to get out and talk to you. I am now rushing to get on the train. No, I'm not. But you know the mission. We have work to do and it doesn't stop. I'm still walking on the escalators. Now I'm here. It's time to put a few hours of work. Do the right professional thing here. But we're gonna talk at lunch. I'm forcing myself to talk to you at lunch. I am now leaving my mom. I am on my way to Target. I failed today. And it's all right. Cause again, this is day five. The key here is consistency. So I'm going to Target to go get some water. I'm trying not to, but I want to buy some gummy bears. Let me do some safe driving. I stopped at the good old chip lot. I'm heading home. We'll chat there. It is Sunday, July 23rd. This is actually day seven. I'm recording day six using day five footage. Sorry, but you understand what, what's going on. Anyway, the more time that I sit here and think about things, we're all struggling with the same thing. Procrastination is one of those things that decimates most people because it is so easy to procrastinate. It is difficult to get started. And in this journey, what I am finding and the technique that I am building is that as soon as something comes up, just do it. I know if I don't want to do something and I think about it and I tell myself, well, all right, it's one o'clock. I'll do it at 1.15. Well, it's 1.15. All right. I'll do it at 1.30. Well, no, no, I'll do it at 1.45. Okay, okay, okay. Two o'clock. Eventually, you put it off. When something comes up, I just do this. I'm going to start in three, two, one. And I get started. And what I am finding is that the more I do that, the more things I'm able to complete. And whenever anything is complicated, is fast, it's big, I just break it down to its simplest form. Example, I wanna clean this whole entire room. I start with the smallest part. If I have this stack of post-its here, I am just going to move it over here. Simple. And I repeat that, and I keep repeating that until eventually this is gonna be cleaned and organized the way I want it to be. And that is just life. So here, what I am finding is that showing up matters. Being consistent is difficult, but that also matters. Not chasing perfection matters too. If something is good enough, you should just go with it. Because again, our lives are a compilation of imperfections right i'm gonna give you a small analogy sorry this is gonna be long-winded but this is what we're doing when a baby is born the baby doesn't immediately start walking out the womb right that would be extremely weird the baby needs to grow spend some time developing it starts off on its back then one day it finds out that it can roll it rolls then it finds out that, well, I can put my hands and, and knees down and I can push up. And then they start like waddling and sort of crawling. Eventually they crawl. And eventually that crawl turns into a fast crawl. Eventually they start grabbing onto things, trying to stand up. They fall a couple of times. Then they start taking small steps with terrible balance eventually they started taking sturdy steps to the point that they want to run then they start running 
they start climbing they start doing all of these things that we as adults don't think about right when you want to run you just run when you want to walk you just walk when you want to go up a flight of stairs you just go up the flight of stairs what I'm trying to say here is you have to learn from all of these experiences what babies are teaching us is something that's fundamental you have to practice day in day out every single day no matter what even if you fall or fail 30 times show up for the 31st time and that's with anything you want to be proficient in another career or in something creative whatever it is you have to practice every single day no matter what what I'm trying to sort of model here is you have to practice who you want to be I think to myself look at at all these influencers that have multi-million dollar deals with these companies just to promote their product just to be the spokesperson for their products they they practice this stuff and whatever it is that you want to do you sort of have to practice and for me, Ben was the perfect example. I wanted to be a great baritone player. I wanted my instrument to open doors for me, and it did. I went to school for free, playing in a marching band. Those lessons, I'm applying them right here, right now. When we were performing, there was no time to hesitate and procrastinate. You just had to get the job done. And that's just the same way that life is right now. You got to get the job done. There are goals and different things that we have to do, but at the end of the day, your character reveals a lot. If you want to chase something, nobody's going to be there with you. Look at the time. It is Sunday, but it's 1.33 in the morning. Who's here? Who is celebrating me? Who's going to give me a pat on the back saying, great job, you're doing well? Nobody. There's no instant gratification here. There is no sort of, you have to do A, you have to do B, and you're going to have C, or the result is going to be D or E, whatever. Nobody knows what's going to happen. But again, this is where you outline the work. This is where you tell yourself either you do it, or you lay your ass in the bed, watch a little bit of TV, relax because it's the weekend, and take it easy. I'm not taking nothing easy. I'm not going to sit back and kick back because I'm not there yet in my life. There's no time to slow down. This is the youngest I'm going to be, the healthiest I'm going to be. I am doing it now. And I'm proud of a lot of things, man. We are at... 729 subscribers and growing and every single one of those people I am just curious I'm like where are they from how can I be a better whatever this is I don't consider myself an influencer I'm always gonna say that I'm just a guy with a camera a mouth a lot to say and hopefully my perspective sort of helps somebody out there because again it's helping me I want better for my life I want to chase and do more and for me the narrative here is that I just don't care about money I don't care about being flashy I'm not humble bragging I'm telling you everything that I've ever gotten I've worked for there's no handouts here nobody's here telling me good job I'm proud of you and I don't want that I'm proud of myself because I'm showing up for me and these moments are hard man because again on one hand I'm posting videos they're getting minimal views you know if you're not getting a thousand views your videos are whatever but the fact of the matter is that I just don't care about that because if I worry about that if I start creating self-doubt if I start destroying the little bit of progress that I have I'm never gonna get anywhere and again this is progressive work that means that tomorrow I have to show up I have to be a little bit better and that's pretty much it and I love this quote it's a meme it's not a quote let me try to find it 
I posted this on my Instagram, but I love it and I live by that. Yesterday, you said tomorrow. And so many people will always say, I'll just do it tomorrow. I'll just do it tomorrow. I'm doing it today. And look, there's so many things that I have to do. I did go to Home Depot. I spent time with my mom today. I even painted my mom's nails. I did all the things that I needed to do, but I have to be better at picking one of these instruments and just recording and showing you whatever it is. I'm motivated. I'm a young YouTuber. I can, I can call myself that because that's a cool title. I'm a YouTuber. A very small, minimal YouTuber. I'm motivated. Day six is over. I'm pumped for day seven. I have a book club that I started with Atomic Habits. I have to come back and finish this. I started it, I gotta finish it. I think we're on chapter seven or eight, I can't remember, but I'm going to upload a video concerning this book. I'm a reader. I have so many things to offer from my perspective and share with you. I'm gonna share as much as I possibly can because again, this is not about faking my life. This is not about forced positivity or telling you that I'm some sort of special person. I feel great about what I'm doing. It's gonna be progressive work. I am inspired to just get better. So anyway, day seven, I'm running. I have to get out there. We have to plan for week number two. Gotta kick it up a notch. And then also, I want to take one of these cameras. I may buy another camera. I don't want to, but I just may have to. To leave at work, for that one to be like my permanent setup for work. Have a tripod because I want to do more things outside. I do apologize this whole entire week. It's been hot here. And when I wanted to go outside, if it wasn't hot, it was raining. <sighs> That's a lot of words, but I'm going to get it together. Anyway, see you at day seven. Mm -hmm.